There is archaeology all over the place, but it's hiding in plain sight in some ways. When I started at the museum, it was a real goal and dream of mine to do some kind of public archaeology project. Both Paleocultural Research Group and Denver Museum of Nature and Science are interested in citizen science. But really no one has tried a public archaeology project on the scale of Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain is located in the southern part of Golden, right near Heritage Square and adjacent to the Apex Trailhead. One of the things that's been most surprising to us is the antiquity of the earliest occupation there. We now know that the earliest occupation is at least 9,000 years old. It's something that is seldom preserved, and so to find it there is a real special part of the project. One of the things that was really important to us was to have conversations with the Native American tribes that have historical affiliation with the state and to connect in a more meaningful way. Our focus has been on the last couple of thousand years. It's a time period that we call the early ceramic. We've been able to use different techniques such as ground penetrating radar, which allows us to see below the surface in three dimensions, as well as magnetometry, which was really, really useful for identifying many fire pits and hearths out on the site. We also opened up the site to the public, and we had over 3,000 people come over the two years that the project was running. We had all these volunteers from the wider community many of whom had never had any experience with archaeology before. We had trained professionals supervising what they were doing, but we immediately put them to work. Archaeology is a collaborative enterprise. There's no way for one researcher, one organization, to really do justice to research on the past. I'm bursting with excitement to see how this project has been able to progress through the years, and it just makes me excited to be able to do more things like this in the future. Archaeology depends on volunteers, and preservation depends on the stewardship of the, of the broader public. People have to understand what the past is like and what, what we know about the past. They have to appreciate it to save it.